In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the scale tool. Um, so we'll go ahead up to the top, click on transform, and move your way down to scale. Um, so if you click on your form, you'll see that there's a little arrow that appears um, at the bottom. You have a little toolbar that says uniform and then factor. You'll notice as, as I pull on that arrow, the factor will increase. So that effectively becomes the scale 2 to 1. You're enlarging it or you can reduce it. So that's just a matter of you doing this by eye or you actually have to do some mathematics to work out what the factor, um, what the ratio needs to be. The other option you've got here, you can actually drop down and go to non-uniform. And that's quite handy because it allows you to Almost in the same format as the move tool, you've got three arrows which you can pull either in or out in whatever direction. And what do you effectively do is you completely then create an all new shape altogether. So you can see there that my cone has become a squashed up elliptical cone. Um, I like the scale tool in particular when, when we look at a um, sphere. So if you think, if you ask yourself, how would I make a peel shape? Um, you then would use the scale tool. Click on your um, sphere. But you want to go on non-uniform. And just like that, you can create a peel shape. So if you think about the primitives that we get given, um, yes, we get given just basic primitives, but with the scale tool, you can essentially start to pull and distort the primitive so it becomes an altogether new primitive. For example, we just had a, a sphere, and now we've turned that into a pill, uh, which I think is really useful. So just to recap, uh, you go up to the top, transform, click on scale, click on your object, and you can select keep it on uniform to just scale it up or down or you can then go to non-uniform and then pull it, push it, squash it, squeeze it in whatever direction you want and I think that's quite fun. Have a play with that and see how you go.